Welcome to this most intriguing World Challenge tournament, pitting three of the world's leading cricket teams in head-to-head -head competition. Everyone plays each other once, with the two best progressing to the final. Match conditions will play a role, so let's go out to the centre now and to Ian Botham. Well, Richie, you couldn't ask for a more perfect temperature. Ideal for attacking cricket and a tremendous day for the spectators. Looking up, I see a bit of cloud cover, but nothing that should give anyone an advantage. It's a very still day, so certainly wind won't be a factor. Well, even I wouldn't mind batting on this wicket. It's an absolute belter. It's going to be hard work for the bowlers. Tails! Heads it is. The players are in position, so let's now go live to the action. Well, this will make it harder for the batsman to score. Four runs. Sharp. Go back the full face of the bat. There's plenty of opportunity for the batsman to play either forward or back on this pitch. No wicket for six. Not out. This has put enormous pressure on the rest of the team. One for seven. Over. He's relying on his fast bowlers to do the job. Uh, good understanding there between the batsmen. One for nine. This pitch has uh, got plenty of runs in it. Very good running between the wickets. Two more runs. Four runs. I don't think the uh, bowler would particularly like that. Four more. One for 17. That's a very good shot, matched by some equally good running between the wickets. One for twenty one. Four runs. Straight back past the bowler for four. Just ideal conditions for cricket out there. Perfect weather. We're finding in the gaps now. Two more. Four runs. I'm not too sure what's happening to the bowler, but uh, whatever it is, he'd better remedy it very quickly. One for 31. Excellent running. Picking up runs like that is very frustrating for the bowlers. One for 38. Not out. Over. 
He's bringing on some pace now. Four runs. That's a splendid shot for four. He picked the gap in the field quite beautifully. Four runs. This is brilliant. We're watching some excellent attacking batting now. Another single to the score. The uh, cloud cover is still pretty consistent since uh, Ian Botham gave us the conditions report. One for 47. This is a good change. Uh, the ball should turn quite a bit off this pitch. taken runs one for 50 one for 51 not out four runs sharp Go back to full face of the bat. Perhaps at his pace, he might be able to get a little more swing out there. I trust the uh, the clouds don't increase from here. I suppose they're not really threatening. Not out. That was a very little talk out there, and uh, even less listening. Very good backing up. Four runs, just a pick of the wrist, and it rolls into the onside fence. That's great timing. We're finding in the gaps now, two more. Two for sixty four. Two for sixty five. Singles like that are a very effective way of breaking up the field. Two for sixty nine. Wind is uh, barely raising a puff at this stage. Two for seventy. Over. Three runs for that well placed shot. Two for seventy three. Not out. Led by. Caught and bowled. Well done by the bowler. Over. The skipper has opted for pace. Let's uh, have a look and see if it works. Three four seventy five. It's not a boundary, but uh, they pick up three very valuable runs. 
three four seventy nine. Not out. That's a well taken single. This is how the innings unfolded. Not much trouble for the batsman out there, and it uh, certainly wasn't a bowling performance to be proud of. That's a very good innings. It certainly wasn't easy for the batsman, but he led the way for his teammates. Four runs. I don't think the uh, bowler was particularly like that. Four more. Four runs. Just what the batting team needed. A boost to their run rate. No wicket for ten. Four runs. This is very good batting. They're throwing down the challenge to the bowler. At the moment, uh, though, the bowler's not taking it up. One more to the batsman. No wicket for 18. Four runs. Straight back past the bowler for four. Good running. One more to the batsman. Excellent running. Wide. He must be having problems uh, with the grip on the ball. I'd suggest he sorts it out very quickly. Four runs. That's a wonderful stroke. Four more to go onto the scoreboard. Picking up runs like that is very frustrating for the bowlers. Two very well taken runs. No wicket for 35. It is as still as still. No wind to speak of, so we won't mention it at all. No wicket for 36. Four runs. That's a splendid shot for four. He took the gap in the field quite beautifully. No wicket for 41.
Four runs. That's the bowler who should adjust his run up. Got to try something. Very good running between the wickets. Two more runs. Two very well taken runs. No ball. Four runs. Very unorthodox, but nonetheless, four runs. No wicket for 54. Very good running between the wickets. Two more runs. Four runs. Captain might have to think about a bowling change very soon. No wicket for 67. No ball. Good running. There's a little bit of cloud around today, just enough to generate a bit of movement in the air. No wicket for 68. What a marvellous day it is. You could almost believe you're in the Greek islands until you realise the cricket game is on. Four runs. That's a wonderful stroke. Four more to go onto the scoreboard. No wicket for 75. The ball's not doing much at all on uh, this pitch today. There's a uh, good understanding there between the batsmen. Very good backing up. None for 77. No wicket for 80. No wicket for 81. Now, uh, let's just check the details of the innings. The bowlers had to uh, deal with some very good batting out there, and they were never able to find their rhythm. A marvellous individual innings, and uh, if only there were ten more like him in the team, they would be very happy. What a fantastic performance by both teams. It was a classic match, and it will certainly be remembered for many years to come. The Australians are on top of the table at the end of this round and they look every inch a winner.